Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How are you, Shivika? I'm good, sir. Good, fine. Yes, sir. Okay. So I see from your application form that you have done B honors in economics, English, and political science as your elective and subsidiary subjects. My honors in is in is in English, sir. Uh, elective was English. Yes, sir. Uh, and other subjects were political science and economics. Yes, they were additional. Tell us more about yourself. I, it it seems you have been preparing for civil service. This is your third attempt. Last time also you faced the interview board. Yes, sir. In my first attempt. In your first attempt. Yes, so tell us more about your journey to the civil service examination and why do you choose this career? Um, sir, I started my preparation during my graduation itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to join the services because of the diversity this job provides, and uh, it it would help me myself become a better person, and it would help me uh, bring a change, be it small, uh, but and uh, it would the diversity that it provides, the number of people I would be interacting with is a mm -hmm. another major plus here. But don't you think there are many many other more challenging and or equally challenging careers or profession where you can achieve all these things which you are mentioning about yourself, about uh, diversity and about your being humble and things like that. Don't you think if you go in a in a village and do a social service, uh, don't you think you find all these things there? Yes, sir, I can. Uh, but uh, sir, in civil services, there is also a somewhat security with, uh, which I would have later in my personal life also. Okay. Do you think the opportunities available to you as a civil servant to deliver result are less or better than other professions? So they are. There are opportunities. They definitely are. And uh, it also requires a personal will to do that, to bring a change. And so personal uh, is at your command. Yes, sir. Resources or opportunities are something outside. Sir, yes, there are more opportunities, I believe, in civil services. There is something called SWOT analysis. Have you heard about it? Yes, sir. Have you heard about it? What does SWOT stand for? Yes, uh, it's strength, weakness, opportunities. Um, I cannot recall the T. Mm -hmm. Threats. Of course, threats has been threats. replaced by some other words also now. Anyway, the old time is threat. Have you done any SWOT analysis of civil service? Um, you done it? I haven't. You haven't? I have, I know what I have uh, weighed on the pros and cons. You have only cons, thought yeah. of only strengths. You have not thought of weaknesses. You have thought of the opportunity. You haven't thought of threats. Yes, sir. There are threats and uh, I have weighed it out. Also. You have weighed it out. Yes, so anyway, good, you have done it. But tell me, what are the threats to a civil servant or civil service? So I'll forget about servant, services. Service is a inheritance of Indian civil service of a British time, okay, just to help you. And it became from a civil servant to a government servant to a public servant. At least the three major transition from civil servant to government servant to public servant. Do you think any change, any any threats or any 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 risks to be a public servant from a civil servant or a government servant? Am I clear? Um, I no, am, no I could <laughs> not actually. Anyway, give a thought. When you go back, give a thought to this question. You must give a thought to this question. Fine. Now, I am very interesting that uh, economics is you have been you have chosen as one of the subject in your honor. And uh, after your graduation, as, is your interest in economics is continuing? Um, sir, I did it till my graduation only. I am currently pursuing my master's in English. English. Yes, sir. So economics is not getting that much of attention. Where are you studying, doing a master's in English from? Uh, from Chandigarh PDGCG 11. Is it a full time course? Yes, sir. Or, or an online course? No, it is a full-time full course. Full-time course. Yes, sir. Okay. 
uh, have you given any ever given a thought that india is becoming a fifth largest economy or sometimes they say the fourth and a, a transpiring to be third largest economy this journey okay so what is the strength of indian economy which which you can think of a such a large economy what is the biggest strength um so the biggest strength i believe is the uh, we have a very good demographic dividend window that we can capture we our median age is 28 years you are using a word which lead to many more question dem, de, demographic dividend so i'll talk to you about later but you continue yes sir one is uh, demographic dividend saying it second is that we have already seen uh, strong parameters especially the last year and uh, now also the uh, growth rate for the next year is expected to be 7.3% and uh, we have generally have we have had stable parameters our fiscal policy also we are focusing more on capital expenditure which was seen in the last budget so i believe that with the current rate and yeah. the current growth rate we can okay. ultimately so you are a student of economics of course in your graduation there are three terms used very loosely we understand one is slowing down of economy one is recession one is depression what are the differences when we say economy like slow down when you say the recession economy and is it a depression economy um so slow down uh, it can be for a quarter uh, while a recession is a, a slow down for two quarters uh, when it has shown two consecutive quarters is the slow down is temporary what do you say please repeat yourself said, uh, uh, slow down in general may be related to a quarter also whereas a recession is generally for two quarters consecutive quarters and a depression is for a much longer term which can be a year or more also so you are not very specific but anyway you must be there are uh, periods fixed by the economics in terms of i will read about you can read about that yes. okay so there was in 1980s there was a big economic uh, world over when did you do your graduation so i finished it in 2020 2020 so then in 1980 there was a big economic depression recession world over but india was least affected it is said and it is rightly said and there are statistical proof that there was a least affected and world over there was america was uh, uk and all developed countries were disturbed but india was least affected can you think of reasons why india was least affected sir in 1980 yes it is um sir one of the reasons may be that because india was comparatively less integrated into the global economy we were still a closed economy at that time good um and by the time we had also uh we also achieved a sufficiency when it comes to our primary commodities our green revolution was in full success at that time um these are the two reasons i can think of sir okay fine and there was once a banking crisis have you heard about that and us banks etc collapse and the big crisis over there even the american government has to extend financial support to the banking sector but it is indian banking was not affected yes sir the subprime uh, crisis of 2007 so so why we are not affected um, as much as all the other far east yes, countries sir. philippines or, uh, or other countries like korea and uh, um, even yes, european sir. countries and other like um, sir i cannot uh, pinpoint on the particular reason particular, but, uh, good anyway come to the current times forget about history currently uh, there is certain parameters which are laudable in our economy and certain parameters where some concerns are expressed about that say about export where are we we are we mean india um sir we have uh, seen a good what is the balance of payment position um uh, sir our current account deficit recently was 1% um uh, 
and we, we have uh, shown a good uh, export rate also especially after covid which sector we are exporting maximum um, so we are exporting uh, petroleum refined products ah, and petroleum services oh, i'm sorry Please. IT, yes, IT sector services, IT sector, yes. services. Uh, Civic. <laughs> so you hail from Chandigarh. Yes, sir. Tell me something about Chandigarh. Um, sir, Chandigarh is a planned city. It was designed by Lee Corbusier after our independence, and uh, it is found at the foothills of Shivalik. So, is there any other planned city? Uh, you can think of in the last uh, three four centuries. Jaipur can th think of. So I've read about uh, Bhubaneswar and. Uh, Bhubaneswar is one. Gandhi Nagar is other. Yes, and Navi Mumbai. Ah, uh, right. What's the scene of tourism in Chandigarh? So there are many tourist places in Chandigarh, like Rock Garden, Rose Garden. and uh, there is also a, a le corbusier museum there are many different varieties of parks uh, like japanese garden leisure valley and uh, other destinations like elante mall good say if you have been appointed deputy commissioner in chandigarh and you are being given one assignment for the enhancement of the chances of the tourism uh, what plan you will prepare A good working plan. Um, sir, I will focus on increasing the accessibility of it. Uh, currently, uh, Chandigarh is witnessing a traffic problem at a much larger level. So that is the first thing I will focus on, so that those who are coming, they are, uh, they do not have the discomfort of it. And uh, secondly, about the places that are there. uh i would focus on more awareness of it so that the tourism potential can be enhanced and the sites which are not in good condition uh if there are any then i would focus on uh, better uh, cleanliness over there so that they can also attract tourism what about the lake is yes, it in sir. good health um yes sir it is oh good uh okay you have mentioned vinyas yog what yes, is sir. this um sir vinyasa yog is a form of uh, practice in which vinyasa refers to uh, connection in sanskrit and uh, there is a connection between the different poses one after the other and there is also a connection between the uh, body and the breath so it goes like one breath and one movement so how it is different than the patanjali yog um sir that is uh, in other forms uh it is vinyasa is much more more fast paced fast paced than others and there is there in other case like hatha yoga also there are breaks between the poses whereas it goes one after patanjali yoga is consisting of eight organs and whereas vinyas only the swas as swas one aspect so uh do you have any interest in sports um not uh, particularly see the recent development uh, are you aware of that uh, vinesh fogart and bajrang punia they have returned their medals how this will affect the scene of the sports particularly in haryana and punjab sir it can uh, to an extent impact uh, the people who wa want to participate because Uh, they may seem that the administration is not will, will in future may not be accepting to their needs so it might may dampen uh, but uh, to an extent it may okay uh can you think of uh how to improve the status of the girl child in your state There is one very famous scheme, Betty Bada, Betty Bachao, Betty Padao. Yes, sir. You are aware of it? Yes, sir. Please elaborate. Uh, sir, Betty Bachao, Betty Padao is 
uh, has a focus towards improving the girl education and saving the girl child which is especially important in areas of Punjab Haryana because we have a very low sex ratio and uh, it is and uh, it is a very good step towards ensuring education because I believe that education is the first and the foremost ladder towards uh, better opportunities in the future. You mentioned saving the girl and also mentioned the sex ratio. In Haryana and Punjab, the ratio is, you know, it is disturbed. So in your district where you are posted, there are numerous reports that various clinics are there uh, who are indulged in in the activities which are prohibited. Uh, how will you handle? Uh, sir, any information regarding it, uh, which I will have, I will take strict action because uh, this is totally against the law. It is against the PCP and DT Act also. And uh, I will uh, ensure that these clinics are, uh, the doctors who are there, who are illegally operating it, are given the adequate punishment. And I would also ensure that people are encouraged to give me the information regarding them. And the other than that, the awareness campaign also regarding uh, saving uh, the girls island so that people do not go towards these steps. Without the help of the doctor, say, the chief medical officer of the district is not cooperating in this matter. How will you take care? Sir, I will talk to my superiors regarding it, what can be done. That is the action you can take against the chief, uh, the chief uh, uh, medical officer. Won't you go next to uh, he or she? Say, if one authority is not cooperating, go to the next one, next junior. And, and utilize the services of the next junior in command. Okay, what's about the police help? Can you do without police? No, sir, I will uh, definitely require the cooperation of the police also in this case. Okay, good. Uh, have you heard of uh, secularism? Can you define in the Indian context? Sir, Indian secularism is a positive form of uh, secularism where all the religions are practiced by uh, LR, uh, ensured that they are being practiced and uh, it is also ensured by a fundamental rights, Article 25 to 28, sir. It, it also, it ensures that there is freedom to, freedom of conscience and freedom to promote and propagate and profess one's own religion. We generally hear that there is long list of pendencies say to the tune of 4 to 5 crore cases are pending in courts. Do you think that uh, if we go for all India judicial services, this can solve the problem of uh, pendency? Yes, sir, definitely. If we go for it, this was also recommended during our 42nd uh, Constitutional Amendment Act. And uh, it can be a good step to at least uh, reduce the pendency. But there are other measures also which are needed, like we can go by go forward by use of technology in clearing the cases. We have many tribunals. Yes. What is the status of tribunal? Why we are establishing tribunals one after the other? So the purpose of uh, tribunals is to ensure that there is a quick dispersal of cases which, yes, yes. Uh, which in Supreme Court or other courts it generally takes a lot of time. So which is why we have we are moving towards establishing tribunals for specific matters. Can you name few tribunals? Have you heard of? Uh, yes sir, there is uh, the National Green Tribunal. This is one. Good. Uh, the tribunal is uh, subordinate to the High Court or subordinate to the uh, Supreme Court? I mean to say where the appeal will go against the decision of a tribunal. It will go to the High Court or to the Supreme Court? Um, sir, I am not very certain. Okay. 
से हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ देवदासी इन द सदर्न स्टेट्स यस सर दिस कस्टम इज स्टिल प्रिवेलेंट सर आई एम नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द एग्जैक्ट एक्सटेंड राइट नाउ सर ओके ओके नेम फ्यू स्कीम्स which relate to the area of the women and child development name two schemes um sir one ha- is beti bachao beti oh that is one uh, okay have you heard of icds very old scheme integrated child development scheme is very old icds icds integrated child very old yes sir good now the last one situation say in your district there is some casualty there is you know one big accident rail accident your all government hospitals are full of either the injured one or there is you know there is all hospitals are full your medico team is not helping is helpless and uh, you are so many uh, persons from the press and telephones Uh, from the uh, state headquarter is disturbing you how will you handle the situation sir if my medical team is not cooperating with me then i would i would ensure that i would once again give them strict orders to maintain the discipline when it comes to this situation and the priority would be to ensure that all the victims are given the due treatment and if the hospitals in my district are full i would i would contact with the other local districts so that where they, they can be sent for further treatment first exhaust your resources you have a private uh, big you know uh, there is so many there are many many clinics in your districts exhaust first them then to the next district yes sir okay good and what's the role of the police then uh, sir so the role of the police would be to ensure that the uh, media persons they do not get very aggressive when it comes to asking questions because it is a very critical matter sir okay dr goel thank you sir good afternoon shivika good afternoon sir you are coming from patiala yes sir your academic record is very nice i'm seeing while coming from patiala which crop you have seen in on the way sir currently the wheat crop has been so oil seed mein which which oil seed I'm which sorry. oil seed which oil seed crop you have seen wheat crop okay wheat crop okay. yes sir then other crops any other crops you have seen um sir i have only seen wheat oh, you have not seen paddy Are you in Delhi? You coming from Patiala now? No, I came from Patiala. How did you travel? On the train. Train. Ah, uh, she travels not by road but train. Okay, okay. So she might not have seen so, anything. Which which train? Kal Kal ka Shatabdi sir. Ah, Shatabdi. Kal ka Shatabdi the famous. So it must be. So she is not able to see. You are see. from Punjab. Yes. What are the challenges in agriculture in Punjab at present? Sir, discussed frequently. Is it climate resilient agriculture in Punjab? um uh, i'm sorry sir uh, is it climate resilient agriculture in punjab at this time uh, sir yes to an extent it is because uh, we have had a good um uh, a uh, good network of irrigation what is climate resilient agriculture climate resilient which is not much impacted by the vagaries of climate yeah. but it is also being impacted because uh, um, because we are seeing witnessing the challenge of climate change and uh, the challenges are first is that there is a huge uh, groundwater depletion that has been taking place second why, is why why yes it is sir because of the monoculture of paddy and wheat majorly we, uh, majorly paddy sir because it consumes around 3000 liters of water per kg of rice and um, and third is that there is a high use of pesticides and uh, insecticides why paddy and wheat is grown by the farmers why not other crops in punjab government want to discourage it but they are again increasing the area rather they don't want to live why yes sir it is because 
the farmers too they have an economic behind it there is there are good returns for wheat and paddy especially when it comes to collection via msp sir which is general which is not that to that extent when it comes to other crops is power is free in punjab power yes, in agriculture sir. is it the reason to yes increase? sir that also is a major reason especially when it comes to the paddy cultivation which requires lot of water and the uh the soil of punjab is actually not suited for paddy it is said that uh, punjab is gaining from this agriculture policy of government of india as compared to other states like bihar and jharkhand like that what is the benefit to the punjab in this agriculture price policy sir there is a benefit because uh, the collection is uh, majorly for these two crops and uh, punjab also has a good infrastructure when it comes to roads and uh, other ways of transporting to the markets and uh, um, but i personally feel that while there are certain economic gains but overall we are experiencing losses when it comes to the environment and the general soil health have you heard about that red sea red sea what is going on in red sea yes sir uh, our ships were attacked uh, in the red sea by there was a drone attack and a missile attack sir who is attacking who is attacking sir the houthis of uh, yemen uh, are believed to be the reason behind it what measures are being taken by the government and uh, at global level sir at the global level generally the us and the other the security has been heightened in that area uh for example usa has started the operation prosperity guardian for it and uh, there is another measure also that uh, now the ships have taken the longer route from below the africa um for indian uh, i cannot uh, think of any really measures right thank you all good yes yeah uh, what is copper plate calligraphy um sir copper plate calligraphy is a form of calligraphy in which a pointed nib is used which is slit from the middle it is different from other where a flat nib is used it was earlier done with a quill um sir calligraphy is the art of beautiful handwriting of oh, handwriting so you do handwriting here also copper, copper calligraphy so handwriting is used so writing is used in copper copper calligraphy Uh, yes, uh, sir. There is a specific pen for it. Pen is there, but you. Mm. What do you write? Anything. Any. Uh, Anything. Any beautiful quote or. A quote. Yes. Any sir. language. And majorly in English. Major. In English, sir. In English. Okay. Yes, sir. What is journaling? So journaling, it is a form of reflective writing, uh, where I generally, where I jot down my thoughts whenever I am uh, feeling too happy or. a little under the Sad. weather yes, okay sir. so what do you write in that reflection this is one of your hobby yes sir what kind of things that you write generally often uh sir mostly i write about uh, if i am very sad then i write about the things that i am grateful for and i also write about my good days so that i could look back at them okay so what is the distance between this good days and bad days So I think it it is goes and up goes up and down the spectrum. Okay, fine. Uh, what radical feminist actually stands on its goal? I'm sorry. What was the goal of radical feminist? Um, sir, radical feminists like uh, Simone de Beauvoir, uh, they called for equality. and especially bubor's idea was that it is the motherhood that uh, pulls women down when it comes to the equality mm. aspect sir um, okay what is personal is political um yes sir personal is uh, political it was a um, if i'm not i'm not able to recollect but it was a part of the um Um, I'm sorry, sir. Right? Okay, no. what is uh, you know political sociology? 
books are political sociology it deals with the intersection of society and politics hmm. for example the aspects of society uh, like caste in india and we see it reflecting in politics or other areas like hmm. gender hmm. and uh, in politics like uh, gender in politics would be reservation for women okay so can you recall any thinker who actually defined a state in terms of society um, define um, state in terms of society karl polanyi have you heard about karl polanyi um, sir i'll have to read about it okay fine uh, uh how do you portray dr ambedkar as a <clears throat> sociologist so dr dr ambedkar has uh, given a sociological analysis of the indian society mm. especially when it comes to caste uh, he gave his uh, broken men theory that how the lower caste were the major inhabitants uh, the tribals who were later uh, defeated with the aryan invasion and he has also analyzed the untouchability and how uh, the 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 at the caste level the discrimination that the untouchables have faced. generally dr ambedkar is reduced to the you know the leader of the depressed classes is it true what he did for women um sir yes he has uh, uh, he has uh, he actually his uh, very famous quote is that we can judge a society by how it treats its women oh that is a uh, his his quote quotation yes sir what he did in action for women um sir i will have to read about it have you heard about in hindu court bill uh, yes sir i have what was that um sir i cannot recall the exact provisions okay uh, you know in 1990 there is a different uh, wave of feminism actually initiated in the western world right that is called intersectionality you must have heard about that Yes sir. Yeah. In India there was a scholar there are many scholars who started talking about that dalit woman speaks differently. What is that different narrative that dalit women were talking about? Sir it is different uh, because again with the idea of intersectionality <coughs> uh, the dalit women they face a double they are doubly discriminated first on the basis of caste and second on the basis of the burden of patriarchy that is that they are women so they they cannot be the problems of them cannot be equated with uh, the upper caste women good uh, have you heard about eco feminism um, yes sir what is any anything about bandana shiva yes sir um, eco feminism is an idea that uh, mm. how when it comes to environmental damage mm. it is the women who are first of all most impacted Okay, and what about T. N. Madan's idea on secularism? Have you heard about T. N. T. N. Madan? Yes, sir. One noted sociologist from India. Um, um, sir, I cannot exactly recall. Okay, it. fine. What is actually Amin Srinivas' Sanskritization? Um, sir, Amin Srinivas defines Sanskritization when uh, an act where the lower caste tends to copy the customs of the twice-born bridge caste. um you know can you uh, you know explain or put some light on nari shakti mission of the government of india sir i'm not aware of our prime minister actually has focused on that india will not focus on women development rather women led development yes, now sir. government has doing lots of work for women development women led development right like nari shakti uh, vandan adhinayam had been passed government is has framed so many you know programs and policies for women empowerment do you know gender gap world gender gap report 2023 or 2022 what is india's status um sir india still lags behind when it comes to gender gap even though i'm not aware of the exact uh, rank fine fine okay <coughs> so i think uh, yeah from my side your interview is over we have no. not talked to you about your subject that is english literature mm-hmm. so uh, is do you think uh, uh, we can talk to you something about that 
Yes, sir. Or the board can talk to you. So through some light on the contemporary Indian English writers. Um, sir, contemporary. Uh, I can think of contemporary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, recently there was uh, Gitanjali Shri who won the Booker Prize. There is Geeta Hari Haran, a very famous for Thousand Faces of the Night. There is another playwright uh, by the name of Mahesh Dattani. Uh, what is the trend? Sir, we have seen. Uh, there is a famous Hindi writer whose book has been translated in English and then won an award. Yes, sir. Who was she? Gitanjali. Gitanjali. Yeah? Yes, sir. So, unfortunately, his Hindi book is not getting attention. Yes, sir. His English version is getting attention. Yes, sir. What is the situation? I mean, the, the original work is not getting attention as much as the English version is getting attention. So yes, this is uh, uh, it is because the wider outreach when it comes to English and uh, the recognition also was uh, given for the translated version. Was there anything lacking in our native languages or, con or our Indian languages as compared to the English language? No, sir, I do not think that is the case. It is because English has a much wider reach. Most of the uh, world population can speak it. So, I think that is why uh, it has seen a wider reach around the world. Okay, thank you. That's it. We can talk more, but the time is uh, short. We conclude our <coughs> discussion. So, Shivika, uh, we would like to give you our feedback. Uh, we had a nice discussion with you. We found you very comfortable in, in our you know, conversation. You are a pleasant personality. Thank you, sir. All the best. Uh, <coughs> uh, but your confidence is not supported by good uh, facts at times and good uh, articulation. So confidence is good, but it should be supported by good knowledge and articulation also. So I hope you understand both these uh, meaning of this word. Uh, like uh, uh, you were asked about civil service, why you are choosing civil service. So you know, when we move on to leadership and we move on about what is leadership and things like that. Uh, I think you have to give more thought why you why for you giving uh, the, why you want to civil service and yes. things like that. Hmm? You have to give more thought. There are more concrete, comprehensive replies which can be given. I do not mean you give parrot-like answer. You should have your own answer, but there can be more thoughtful and considered answer. When you go to civil service, definitely you have wide wider range of opportunities available to you. You have a security of job. You have a you have a more contribution more, is it comparatively more or less, which is not that absolute in terms of absolute, like more opportunity to deliver result, more opportunities to make a difference in the life of a common man, like that. So these are opportunities where you feel more satisfied, the job is more satisfying as a personal satisfaction, things like that, which you can give it like that. Uh, similarly, judicial system, one of our friends talked about the judicial service, judicial system, pending court cases, you know, require your attention and your knowledge on these subjects should be uh, more thoughtful. Uh, the pendency can pendency be solved by by a service, by setting up a judicial service, mm. and the pendency can be taken care of or something like that. Like you gave a good point about technology, but you should have liberated on that. Whether you are strong, you just stop there. Technology and you stop there. That's a good, but just like that. So similarly, like. Hindu code bills, some of the points which you could not apply, you can think of those those points. And uh, so I will suggest to you must learn more about the topics covered in that review where you find that you have not. You can watch your yes, video and can think of it. Definitely there is a scope for much more improvement on those areas, both in terms of knowledge and your level of confidence and your articulation. In all these terms require more improvement. 
uh, on this topic. But this topic is not the end of life. They can ask any subject on the on this thing. And English is your subject. You must concentrate more on uh, the contemporary English writers. You are getting recognition world over. Uh, you must be knowing better than me on this subject. And there are writers like Chetan Bhagat also, whose English is criticized, but he's very popular. Yes, sir. Things like that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, finally, I would suggest that, uh, have you got an interview date? Yes, sir. When 20, is 29 January. 12 January? 29. 29. So, you have some 20 days at your, 20, 22, 25 days plus yes. at your disposal. So, some more thing about uh, uh, some personal thing, if you don't mind, I can suggest you that you can tie your hair uh, in a more formal way. I suggest that. So, nothing wrong with your yes. hair style, but you can uh, tie it uh, or, or design it in more more formal way, yes. not a casual way, which may be different for different occasion. But when you're going to board, it's a formal occasion. I suggest otherwise, a perfectly uh, all right. So, you have time. Concentrate on subjects, topics, and uh, articulation. These are two. Articulation you can develop by practicing more, talking to your peer group, group discussion, talking in front of a mirror, yes, sir. recording your voice here, yeah, and then listening to it after some time. Yes, sir. Then you will know. Come. It's a small, small tips I'm giving you. There are experts who can give you better tips, but it's a small thing which you can do next 20 days. Comfortably, you can do these things. In terms of knowledge, you have to see the websites of a lot of government scheme, Betty Bachao, Betty Prahao, things like that. In a woman empowerment is one of the big issues. The famous Ladiji Behan scheme of Rajasthan. You know, make a list of 20 government schemes. Uh, so, ministry of and write few, in, you know, the main features, few lines ministry, and then repeat them. Ministry of Women, Child Development has published annual report after 2019. Yes. This report is very vital. Right? And so, Minister of Social Justice 2023 report. You can look. So, huh. knowledge wise, you have to do hard work. <clears throat> Much more area uh, you have to cover. So with the knowledge of confidence, it will also increase. Yes. And your articulation will also increase. So, most important, certain knowledge about the area which we have discussed, talked. So, we suggest to other candidates also, we suggest you to also choose certain question, say 50 question. Of, or 60 question or 100 question if you can do uh, from the subjects which we have discussed or any other subject say English etc mm. try to think of those questions prepare answers then rethink about those answers then rethink about those answers if need be talk to your uh, friends and colleagues yes. and seniors and, and, and peer groups watch certain programs which are very important I suggest to most of the candidates where knowledge can be acquired, is uh, Sunset TV. Have you watched it ever? Earlier I used to. You have to. Yes. There are very good programs sometimes. There are very good programs. On economics, there are very programs on economics. Like uh, Indian economy is one of the vibrant areas. There's pros and cons, what are strong points, weak points. You must understand what we are doing, where we are not doing. So, you must understand you are, in any case, a student of economics from your yes. graduation level, but it's a very subject which affects us every day. Yes. Uh, budget is coming, February 1st week budget will be there. So, a lot of economic survey will come by yes. that time. That's report also talking about gender-based budgeting. The four states have actually applied gender-based budgeting, the Ministry of Women's okay. Challenge. So, anything and you want to know? Hand position. What was your hand position? Like this. No, she was like, he says like doing this. <laughs> keep your hand position proper, right? Yes. This way. Keep, take this, keep this, like this. Yeah. Thoda sa, haan. Thoda sa normal, formal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say. Right? I haan, can haan. keep it like haan. this. Haan. She was actually haan. rubbing her hand. Haan. Haan. You can do like this also. Do not haan. do the rubbing so frequently. No? Yeah. Haan. You feel haan. comfortable. Once or twice is okay. Yes. She was looking uncomfortable.